So why is my mouth dry all the time? And is that a problem when it comes to the care of my teeth? So this is another question I get asked all the time at the, at the office. And it's something I wanted to address with everybody um, just so that they know the, the full story because there's a lot involved with your mouth being dry. Um, when your mouth is dry, that means basically that you just have less saliva production than what you should have. And saliva is important because it provides several things for your mouth and for your body. It's, it's providing lubrication so that when you're chewing and, and, and swallowing, things are going down, but it's also providing lubrication so things aren't sticking to the teeth, so the food's not sticking to the teeth and around the teeth. Um, saliva has enzymes that help fight bacteria, so it's, it's helping keep the bacteria numbers down. Uh, saliva also helps neutralize the pH, so when you have a lot of bacteria, they're producing an acid, uh, that helps neutralize that acid so it's not disruptive to the teeth. Uh, it also helps uh, neutralize the acidity of, of foods, fruits, fruit drinks, uh, fruit juices. So all these things are important and when you have a decrease in saliva production, you're losing that natural defense. So you're having more things that are sticking to the teeth, which is more food source for the bacteria. That means that you get more bacteria in the mouth, which means you get more acidity in the mouth, and then you also lose the ability to neutralize that acidity. So that it increases the rate of decay and most people have, can have some serious problems with, with dry mouth. So dry mouth becomes a concern um, when, when people are on a lot of medications, it's a side effect of a lot of medications. And, and so when you have one medication that, that causes dry mouth, not as big of a deal. When you're on two or three that cause dry mouth, that can be a bigger problem. Um, dry mouth can occur just as, of, as, as you age. Um, it can be a result of uh, radiation treatment for cancer patients. It can also be related uh, directly to a, a, a condition of the salivary glands. So these are all important things to know. Uh, make sure you bring that up um, if you have these problems. Some signs that you can look for at home if you're, if, if you're not for sure if you have dry mouth. Usually your mouth, most people know it because their mouth will be dry, but some people still have saliva, but it's just thick and, and, and it can be more uh, frothy than, than wet. Um, you can look at your tongue. So if your tongue, it looks like it's got cracks and grooves in it, that's an indication of dry mouth. And some people just, when your mouth gets dry, you tend to get more sores in the mouth and that can be a result of the bacteria as well. So bring this up to your dentist, bring it up to me. Uh, let us know, we'd love to help you out. Um, we're excited to, to have the opportunity to open our new office in town. Uh, we're planning on doing that in early April. Uh, we're working with the community clinic to help decrease their fixed expenses. So we have a campaign going there. It's called hashtag mix the fix. So we're real excited about that. Um, we're also real excited about giving away tickets to the Stephen Foster drama. So every new patient that schedules in a scene with us by June 1st, you get two free tickets to the Stephen Foster drama. So we we'll look forward to seeing you out and about. We we'll look forward to seeing you at the new office. Um, we look forward to seeing you at our open house. That's going to be towards the end of April. So a lot of, a lot of big things coming up. Stay tuned. We'll keep you posted on some new information.